volume, 0%. Good afternoon and welcome to a More Than Meets the Eye Blind Formers combo video because we're talking core class today from the Transformers series. This is also known as Legend Scale, but they changed it to Core Scale for some reason. I guess they wanted it to be the center of your collection or uh, like an Apple Core. You didn't, they didn't want you to buy it because it's trash. I don't know, but it's not trash, so don't believe that statement. I had his legs twisted wrong. So today we're going to talk about uh, Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Megatron. Here Core Class Megatron is with a little blast effect in his gun because, you know, why not have some blast effects in your life? Uh, Hasbro, why aren't you getting any blast effects for G.I. Joe Classified series? Come on now. You get with the program. You got plenty for your Transformers. I like all my Transformers blast effects. Too bad they don't work for my G.I. Joes. Uh, so, today we're going to talk about this guy in his robot mode, and then we're going to discuss his transformation, and then we're going to move on into his vehicle mode. And it's just going to be one of my three-part videos that I do for the larger scale stuff, but smaller scale, so one video. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, then please hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want to bother people, then please, you know, make a make a contact list, a text message list of all your contacts that you possibly can. Put in a one group message and then text them the link to my channel. You know, that would be fun. I'll enjoy it. I know that for a fact. Uh, yeah, guys, the uh, GoFundMe has ended. So stop donating. Stop it. Put your phones down. No more donating. I'm not accepting any more money from any of you, so don't. Just don't. It's done. I got $50 from it from the single donor. One donor. It was up for more than 30 days, and it only got one donor. Uh, that that really disheartened me. I, I, I was expecting at least two or three, uh, and I wasn't even expecting much money. I was expecting like $2 or $3 at the most. You know, getting $50 from a single donor, you're really cool. Except that donor was one of my friends, and it, it just, it was, ah, uh, I don't know. I, I feel weird about it, so I'm just not going to do it again for a while. I'm going to just, you know, continue selling my own stuff, uh, continue not eating if I, you know, to afford this channel. That's just going to be what I have to do to make sure that my five-year plan works for this channel, and I can actually, you know, be making some decent money in the future. I hope, because I can't live off of this supplemental security income for much longer. It's going to drive me mad. I want a house. I want to own things. And getting that, and there's too many strings attached to that. You're not allowed to own me. Squat. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to complain there. Let's get right into this Transformer right here. This is Megatron, and they did a good job with the uh, Core Class Megatron. I like the Core Class Megatron. I think he's a bruiser. He looks like, he feels like a bruiser. Um, I don't know why they tried so much to get him to the G1 look. I, I guess, you know, they're always trying to get that G1 look out of the Megatron, and they're just always failing, because the, the only reason he looked the way he looked was because he transformed from a pistol. And that's all. Uh, you, you gotta change it up. And they, so we'll talk about him real quick. He's got the same pistol grip feet that you're used to with Megatrons. Uh, on the back, he's got... Uh, tank treads because for some reason this tank becomes a robot that once became a pistol but now becomes a tank uh, The uh, chest area of him is very smooth and sleek as if it were the side of a pistol and um, The uh, which it was in his you know, you know what Let's see Okay So whatever Boom! Okay, so now we can talk about Megatron properly. And knock him off. Or just, just just completely destroy him. There we go. There you go. And gotta love the Megatron gun. Mine's kind of busted up. But it's still a Megatron gun. I mean, it is all sorts of busted up. So, there's the Megatron gun. That's what he was supposed to become. A gun that fits in your hand and is an exact copy of a pistol, which is wild. So we'll just set that off to the side. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk about him some more. Well, we can compare him to his pistol size. Look at that. Look how tiny he is compared to the pistol. Um, if you want to know more about that, that pistol thing, then, uh, you know, let me know in the comments if you want to see a review on the uh, G1 Megatron pistol. 
Uh, and I can tell you the funny story of how I received it. So let's get into this guy's, uh, well, we'll talk about his articulation. So he's got a single elbow joint. His shoulders go up and down and can not perform a 360, but can get plenty of motion. As same is said for the other hand, the other arm. His head can spin. It isn't on a ball joint, so it can't look up or down. His waist does swivel. His hips do all the things, all the things the hips do. And the knees are single jointed, and there is no ankle rocker or any type of articulation for the feet. And that is it with him. Myself straightened out over here and knocked that over while I'm at it. Um, all right. So let's compare sizes here. We've got the Black Zarek from Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise or Generations. And Black Zarek's head, because I, I mean, I'm just comparing everything to the Black Zarek head, so you can get an idea of how big the Black Zarek is compared to the core class. I personally think the Titan scale was made to pair with the Legends uh, core scale. And uh, it shows here, like you would expect the head of... Black Zarek to be like this with Megatron. I mean, when you consider that Megatron's a tank that people can get into, and he's standing this tall, it's like this head is wildly huge. Um, so that's the head of Black Zarek, and now we're gonna bring out the Bumblebee. Here's Bumblebee. Bumblebee uh, stands a head taller, literally a head taller than Megatron, and Bumblebee thinks he's the biggest cat in town now that he's bigger than Megatron, but Megatron can still pick his leg up and give Bumblebee a good old boot to the head. Okay, so there goes the Bumblebee. Goodbye, good riddance. And let's do to the transformation. So first remove the blast effect from your gun if you have a blast effect plugged in. And go ahead and remove the gun from the back of the armor. And gun doesn't really do much, but showcases a... Uh, a what's it called? Um, a silhouette. Does it all it all it's for is silhouette. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wiggle his backpack That's this this tank thing and then it's going to fold up and then over because it's on a bar hinge Which allows it to have you know two hinged points far apart from one another and that's gonna allow it to fold over the head and Bypass these arms and not hurt them now with the arm now that that's folded forwards go ahead and collapse both of the arms inwards towards each other and this may take a moment to get right. So you gotta, there it goes, okay. And then you're gonna do the same with this side, make sure that it's all folded in. There it goes, it's snapped into place. Now all he's got little bitty snaps, tiny snaps. You can't even hear them. They're sub uh, vocal snaps, I guess you will. Now on his arm here, we've got a, a peg sticking out of one of his arms. And if you feel on his gun that's attached to the other arm, there's a peg hole. So what we're going to do is we're just going to rotate that arm into that peg hole and we're going to close those together. His hands do not fold up into his body, which I'm a little upset by. Uh, there's a few things with this transformation that I'm just like, yeah, on. Um, and I kind of jumped right into the transformation without going over the sculpt work. Ah, I feel bad about that. But we'll talk about sculpt work. Don't worry. Um, there we go. So his legs are the fun bit. What you do is you would think you have to find a panel to fold out. No, no, no. What you want to do is you want to act like he just got he just got a baseball bat to the inside of his knee, in the inside area, and then you're going to snap the leg outwards. Like, yeah, he just got a baseball bat full of pain right there. Um, now, oh, the treads are wrong. So first off, we've got to rotate the leg assembly 180 degrees. And now we can kick this all the way back, and it's... Doing this is actually going to allow the leg, the uh, the side of the leg to fold in properly. You'll hit that other knee with the baseball bat. Make sure that it spreads out away from everything else. And now we're going to fold it forwards like it do. And everything is now just going to kind of get shoved into place slightly until it works. And that's this that that's what I've noticed about core class figures. Sometimes there's just a step that's Shove it all together until it works. Because they can't have as many uh, as many you know connection points and stuff on this as they would like. So I get it. But still gonna take a minute to try and snap these things together. 
He doesn't really make, he makes a decent robot mode. I really like his robot mode, but his tank mode does leave room for improvement. It is upsetting how, how the tank mode works. I, I didn't, I didn't like it. I don't like the fact they didn't even include caster rules. Come on, guys. Come on. Give us some caster rules at least. Good grief. All right, there we go. You just have to, like, slightly fold them until all the treads line up, and then you make sure it all snaps into place. Make sure this front of the gun thing is... There it goes. Now the guns. And that back area where the, uh, where the shoulders connect actually acts as kind of a screen to help hide the kibble, the... Uh, the hip kibble that's on the back of the tank mode. Okay, there we go. And I guess it would have helped if these were. Well, no, that works. That works. All right, now we just take the last gun. Where did it? Where did, where did it go? Where did the little uh, little gun? Little gun. Okay, so little gun just plugs into the big gun. And there you go. There is your tank mode for your Megatron. It's not really that difficult of a transformation. It's got some fun parts to it. I recommend the transformation. It's a good transformation. It's a fun transformation. And it's a simple one that doesn't seem too simple. And if you... Now, I don't give the tank mode very big points because I think they could have done a better job with the tank mode. On, yeah, honestly speaking, they could have done a lot better job with the tank mode. I think maybe if the, these were to be spun like that, maybe, maybe that would look better. Oh, no. Who knows? Does it look better like that? Maybe. I think so. Sure. Uh, it's not the best tank mode that we've come across in any of the vehicles that we've had so far in the Transformer series. In its, it was the best core class tank mode that I owned. Un, but it's not really the best anymore. It. I don't have any a lot of good things to say about this tank mode. It, it's a tank, and it's okay as a tank. It's got a turret that spins, and the turret can move up and down. Well, the gun can move up and down. That's cool. Uh, our tic that's, that's it for articulation. It doesn't even have caster wheels. Uh, Sculpt-wise, they did a good job with it. You've got these little sculpted headlights on the front of the tank. you got this spotlight there. You've got armor paneling going down the sides. You've got rivets that can be felt. The tank tread is excellent sculpt work right there, and there's only a few things I don't like about it. And one is the feet didn't transform, which means that you still got these feet bits hanging out the back. And um, it could have folded forwards to cover up more of this area, but I understand they were, they were working with what they had, and they were trying to make it a, as least complicated as possible, and I get that. It's a decent transformer. It's definitely worth the price of the 10 bucks for it i i recommend it for the 10 bucks that you can buy it at it's not bad now let's get out the cliff jumper to do a final size comparison here's cliff jumper earthrise cliff jumper is once again taller or i mean uh, bigger than this guy but funny thing enough if you include the tip of the gun he the Megatron's tank mode is the same length as cliff jumper now Megatron's tank mode is also wider than cliff jumper which is always funny Though Megatron weighs a lot less than the Cliff Jumper. Cliff Jumper is a hefty, hefty guy compared to the Megatron. Uh, and once again, we'll compare Megatron to the head of Black Zarek. The head of Black Zarek. All right. Well, guys, that has been the Core Class Megatron video. Uh, I recommend it. The robot mode is decent. I'd give the robot mode a 7 out of 10. I'll give the tank mode a 6 out of 10. And I'll give the transformation an 8 out of 10. Tune in next Prime, where we will be discussing something new. Until then, bye-bye for now.